Hello friends, thank you very much for clicking on today's video. So starting out with breakfast, I love having overnight oats in the summer. I think it's such a summer food and very, very quick in the morning if you've got stuff on. So this is me preparing them the night before. I do oats, chia seeds, sultanas, coconut milk, and then I also had some frozen berries, which just delicious. Mine turned out a little bit runny this day, so I'd add a little bit less liquid. Yeah, so easy to prepare the night before and then I'll just put it in the fridge and it's ready to go in the morning. So morning of just giving it a quick stir and then I like adding some fresh fruit. Banana is my go-to. Fresh fruit so expensive so frozen works as well. And then I'll also add normally some chia seeds or flax seed maybe. Um, I think I did almonds this day and then I also love peanut butter. It's just so yummy and a nice source of protein. So that is breakfast. Rice paper rolls have been my absolute go-to for lunches recently. I just think it's a lovely way to add in some random veggies to your day. I also love doing tofu for some protein and flavour, so you basically just wet the rice paper and then leave it to sort of like absorb the water, so I'll do that before I start chopping. So I did tofu, tomatoes, some spinach, avocado, carrot, and you can literally add whatever you want. I think this would be good with like cabbage or whatever you have it's a really good meal for just like using up any vegetables that you have left over
Hello friends, staying hydrated and I thought now would be a good time as any to just sit down and have a bit of a chat about food, body image, etc. Because I feel like it is really relevant in this video. Yeah, I definitely want to like address that. I always feel really weird making like why eat in a day videos because I think there is such a tendency tendency and it's so easy to take what somebody else is eating and take it as firstly just like believe it full full fully because i don't think that everyone who posts these videos is like a true representation of what they eat especially like day in day out my diet changes like quite a lot and i think most of like everyone's does and i think that's really normal and healthy to like some days where you eat more some days where you eat less like genuinely i try and like listen to what the body one um and just eat that but i do think it can be really easy to just like compare what you're eating to somebody else and be like oh they're eating healthier me less than me more than me better than me etc not a fun rabbit hole to go down the reason i prefer normally to make like what i eat in a week is because i don't include like snacks and I, it's not a video of like here's everything i ate this week it's here's like a week of meal ideas because i'm vegan and i'm like really into food like making new things and like trying new recipes and stuff genuinely enjoy watching food but i think it's so difficult because i don't want to put out like you know some sort of like diet online i don't i don't think that's healthy for a long time i feel like i didn't have a good relationship with food and like body image etc like i just didn't feel like happy with who i was and the way i looked i still have like times days here and there where i feel like that sadly i think that's like very very common and i just don't want to like perpetuate that make any of you feel like that yeah this video is on what i ate on one day maybe i ate something like a snack or something that i forgot to film or like i was out and i didn't have my camera you know i just feel like it's very easy to take it like too literally um and i really don't want that obviously my journey with food i feel like i was in the worst phase of like my body image issues right before i went vegan i would just like not eat enough food and then when i was i was eating really unhealthily and it just wasn't fun and I didn't feel good, I didn't, like mentally or physically, I didn't feel good in my body. I've been vegan for five and a half years now, so that was like a really long time ago. And I feel, I've just come so far in terms of food, and I definitely have days where I'm like, I don't know, like the other day I was feeling shit, and I was like, no, you know, like you're back in that place, but like just one step down the ladder isn't falling all the way to the ground, you know? I don't know, it's taken me so long to get to this point and I'm still so far from where I want to be and food is something that I just want it to be a fun thing in my life I don't want food to have any negative energy but me and food I want us to be on good terms and I still feel like I'm working on that um especially I've seen a lot of people posting like hot girl summer coming up like losing weight for summer and stuff like that and I just hate to see it like it's so toxic and just don't like it at all I think it stresses me out <laughs> I really don't like it so yeah I hope none of you guys feel that way and I want you to know that I binge out on chocolate all the time and I want you to know that I love you as well <laughs> so yeah just a little bit of positivity if you have any like body image tips or advice for you know learning to love the body that you have and just be like confident and happy then please leave me a comment because I would love to hear it for me personally and I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to hear other people's advice as well it's a really really tricky area and i love food and i love making food like content around food so i don't ever want to like i don't know shy away from that just aware of how much of a minefield this area is okay back to the video i love you very much <laughs> One of my New Year's resolutions was to try new recipes. I have so many pinned on Pinterest, I have tons of recipe books, and I just feel like I don't try them enough. So this day I actually tried beetroot burgers and I'd never made those before. And they turned out really, really good and they weren't too difficult either. I think there's actually a real beauty in meals that take a little bit of time to prepare because it really makes you appreciate the food. And I feel like the food is such a, a process, you know? I don't like just chucking together a meal. Sometimes it's nice to put in the effort. So yeah, this was one of those meals and I really, really liked it. I will link the recipe down below with all the exact measurements, etc. I just followed it loosely and seasoned it sort of as I wanted to. 
and I added just some random veggies to the burger bun. I used a morning roll, which is my absolute favorite for burgers. And I also popped in some wedges just for some added carbs.